Hi guys, and welcome back to another video with me and more central. Um, some of it different again today because you know what I'm like. I always find myself at some of a part of the OMSI, um, what do you call it? OMSI grouping world thing. OMSI hubs, forums, forums, that's the word. So what we're doing today is we're driving this vehicle, the MAN, MAN 24.310 12 meter Birkhoff. Um, that's the KMB version, as you can see by the livery. Um, so we're going to drive it on the 284 map, um, the Shanty map. I, I, I don't believe that's how you pronounce it, so I do apologise. Just have a little look around the interiors. This is quite a nice new release, is this one. Um, I stumbled across it, and it is a very, very nice vehicle. I've, I've yet to properly drive it, that's why I've saved it for the main, main showcase video, as you might as well get my first instant reaction. But so far, I am very, very much impressed with the quality of this. Um, the vehicle does come with two different model variants representing the batches of vehicles. Um, the first one is vehicles 1 to 10, and the next one is, I believe, 20 to 30 of the fleet numberings of these vehicles. And the repaints represent each individual vehicle that's in service of this type and all the little different fixtures, sort of like the adverts, withdrawn, withdrawn vehicles, etc. So it's quite good. So, I'll set it up. I should have already set... Should have already set up my destination blind. It is very quiet. There we go. Okay, that's the handbrake off. <laughs> I should probably book in a timetable. It's somehow I haven't done yet. I've just come into the game and just been like, ooh, that'll be fun. And seeing all the people waiting and not really... It's not really clicked in that I should really need it. To... Oh! These open separately. Okay, I'm very, very much impressed with this boss. So let me set up the timetable while all of these are jumping on. There we go, that can be yours. Low temperature on the boss. Oh dear. Okay. Um, now, what the, on earth is the temperature? And is it something I can clip? <laughs> I mean, the steering wheel can't be moved. So anything underneath there, I can't, I can't get to. I'm so far I'm very much impressed with this boat. So let's just change that to that. See if we can get any more customers. There we go, just one of the devil child spawn. Hang on. Morning. Okay, so that doesn't shut him. Oh. Oh, so they're both shut. So they open like that and that on different buttons, but then shut him, you gotta press 5. Okay. There we go. This is the first time I've driven this map since the last YouTube video I did. So. This is a very nice bus, goodness me. Believe in Hong Kong, if I'm right in saying these vehicles are getting withdrawn at the moment due to fleet age. But well, they are still low floor. Oh my gosh, this is brilliant, is this bus? I must admit, I did forget all the good stuff that the Hong Kong community can produce because I just haven't played sort of the maps and with the buses as much. But goodness me, this is superb. So I'm thinking the next video as well um, is going to be um, on Humber buses where I'm going to test out the E200 MMC that everybody else has done. But what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to equal it out between the left and the right path stuff I do. So all being well then you can get quite a nice quite a nice share of stuff i'm just going to turn this down a tad as i did watch one of the other videos and i did look and think well the car volume is all you can hear so oh goodness i've opened the rear doors whoops <laughs> good job i checked that's because i pressed a button that i shouldn't have pressed it's very very quiet on idle it's very quiet on idle it makes me think i've switched the actual bus on there we go. I also love how quick the acceleration is. 
the the acceleration's that quick that I can see the, the seat go in front of the camera. I believe this is a bit where I have to go across here, isn't it? So what this map is, is this map um, to eight, um, Chanting 284 is um, an MM2 conversion. Um, I don't know if you can tell. But what they've basically done is they've taken the MM2 map that existed, that was done again, usually as the, as the Hong Kong community very, very good at, done to a very, very, very high standard. Oh, you can open them both for five. Okay. She would just open one of them. So when I open this, I assume this is supposed to be the Darwin for when you're jumping on the bus with the driver. So, but as usual, this is into quite a high Hong Kong community standard, um, and then they've just converted it. converted it to OMZ2 and just plunk the object on top and it's quite a nice map to be fair I feel like it's one of the few that is rather on the bridge that's, oh my things escaped whoops well at least I got across the lanes not the way I not the way I intended uh, when I say ooh the things escaped I mean my steering wheel control decided it was no longer going to work I don't know how many cars I've got spawned in, but it seems quite a, a nice view, in all honesty. Eh? On, on, on this, yeah, honestly. <laughs> you see, when you record these videos on an early Tuesday morning, um, you forget what words are. It just makes the whole experience even more fun. So... I think the only thing that needs to be sorted on this bus is the destination blind, obviously. But I, I'm assuming that that's... I'm assuming that that's some sort of um, texture file that I need to try and find the 284 texture file blinds in, um, quite possibly. So, some of you will be looking and thinking, my goodness, this map is an absolute mess, you know, with sort of transitions of, of scenery objects. But to say it is an MM2 conversion map, it is really, really nice. So... I do need to tap more into the Hong Kong community now and see what new stuff they've got. For example, this is one of the new items, none of the new items slash rustlers that they've got. And I know that I do have quite a big audience there, the viewers, so hopefully this sort of map um, entertains you. So no, I did drive the, the last MAN vehicle I drove in here that was that very, very, very early alpha stage um, MAN. I think it might have been the exact type of vehicle, that very, very, very early stage MAN, oh, not wait for bus, was driven on here in yellow. I remember taking a photo and putting it at the thumbnail at that bus stop. So it's quite a nice transition actually to drive this fully completed variation. Not know I parked that far away. I must admit, this is a very, very nice model. A very, very nice model. So, no, they've also released their Volvo Gemini 2 as well, so I do need to check GX7767 Studios again. Something I haven't done for a long, long while. Um, people keep walking past bus stops and I keep thinking they want this bus. It really isn't helpful. So I know also Hong Kong West Kowloon version 3 was released and I do want to play it, however I just feel like the whole computer would die, I forgot I needed to change lanes here. Like it is now when it's loading in the remaining section of the MM2 map. God, that lane just ends doesn't it? What I do love about OMSI nowadays is you can like go from like the last video was in German was the German autobahn map and you can go from that to them playing this sort of map um, based in Hong Kong and then you can go and 
I don't know, play a map in Russia like we've done, and then you can play like my map like Humble Buses, and it is such a nice sort of, such a nice variation of stuff. Oh, this is the bit that only loads up at the last second, is this? It makes this section of map really, yes, there we go. It makes this section of map really fun. Oh my, we actually have somebody waiting. Hello. I better make sure there is nobody waiting to do a proper roll. I just have a missed a ming the bell. Oh, Donald. Stop. Oh, God, no, stop. Knocked on there, you see, I don't, all I want to do is take a nice, lovely screenshot and end up just breaking everything. So I'll take that off and we'll take a very, very nice screenshot, I think. Mm, this that does look nice. <laughs> there we go, now let's go. And I do need the map. Oops, I do need the map direction back up, so I'll get them sorted. You want to get to the top of this hill? And we shall continue. Oops. Oh, and lit my camera, or me, or whatever you want to call it, is submerging itself through the seat. The only criticism I have with this bus is because of how fast the acceleration is, um, you go through the seat. So as I say, it's a very, very nice model. Um, I'm quite, I, I don't know what I was really expecting. As I say, just sort of loaded it up and just hoped for the best. But it is a very, very much a nice model. And I feel like I haven't noticed many videos of it, unless I've been looking in the wrong place. So I just feel it's gone rather underappreciated. So... I'll see if I can remember where I got this model from and then I'll link it in the um, description as I feel it does need a bit more love. Oh, Oops, sorry. Sorry again. It's because of how good the acceleration is on this bus. Just not used to it. Change display, so I've got to change the blind now. I felt like somebody wanted to jump off, but... Oops, oh, wrong, wrong thing. Okay, now I've got to change my display from Ravana to Chatin Central. That's a lovely name, is that? I will refer to it as Shantin. I'll check my times at the next bus stop, I should have checked it there, but... That depends if I can find a running board if I can't, then I'm just going to keep going. The destination blind is changed and now we're on our way back. So what's nice about the duties on this is it's a four round trip. It's a very short route, but it is a nice four round trip. So what time are we on? I know we're back at two past, so we're probably roughly on time, if not a minute early. But if I do remember correctly, this is quite a tight time table anyway. And they talk to me in German, but well, that adds a bit of fun. Just realised I should start looking at the arrows a bit more as they sort of direct me as to which lane I should be in. And I didn't listen, I just followed the van. Whoops. Uh, I think these are the lights that take forever to change. Oh, they went the only thing. Oh, no, windows don't work. Although I say that, these vehicles might not have opening windows here due to all the aircon. Somebody in the comments will know the answer to that. 
So I do also like the new the new seats that they're using. It's it's a seat design that I have sat in in real life, <laughs> obviously, because um, I've been on enough buses to um, achieve such a thing. So I'll just sneak into this. Oh. Um, but it's nice to see it used in this, as it's usually very similar seat designs that are used in these vehicles. So it's nice to sort of bring some very very new and different. Hiya. Hello. Hiya. Hello. A city in Hong Kong that's just got a, a full population of Germans living in it. Well. You, you have a taxi, aren't you? So you should have been letting me out. I just turn down on the way what I'm doing. There we go. I don't know if this map's still available. Um, it probably is somewhere in the corner of the internet. Um, so you you'll find it somewhere slash how, um, hopefully, if you're looking for it. I believe it, it's if you type into a four map, I think it, it should come up with something. Um, but the dot hof file is quite a weird one as well. So I know some of them come under the 28 Farm map and some of them come under the whole blind set for the actual city. That's the one that I'm using at the moment. So although you are, there's no point in me typing in different numbers as you won't see them because as I said the lines aren't working. So I, as I say I'm very, very impressed with this box. Very impressed. Apart from the fact that there's a, there's a hand thing, there's a hand um, going out of it. And there's a lot of people stood on the stairs. Are they all wanting to get off? Are they just... I'm not going to judge. Um, I'm going to just leave them to crack on with that, I think. But I think there might be a little issue on the stairs. <laughs> I'm going on accelerating as fast as me. That's unusual for a taxi. Usually they accelerate much faster than buses. So because it is an MM2 conversion, some of the um, gradient changes are quite fun, to say the least, uh, like on this hill, for a main example. to jump off or if they just yeah they are okay okay that's really strange uh, okay well I sorted out that problem oh my gosh okay that's some interesting really variations Now which lane? Am I supposed to be in this lane? What's also I must point out about this bus is they've gone to the realism stage even beyond what the Hong Kong community usually do where the bus has to be stationary, I believe, with the handbrake on as well to open the doors. So that's quite a nice feature. Because I know the randomly opening doors was quite a, interesting. Um, not randomly opening, just you could open them at whatever speed you were going. Um, sort of a main thing with the with these vehicles. So it's nice to see 
liked a little, uh, although it's been so long since I have um, driven any of the any of the vehicles from the Hong Kong community, so I don't know how long this has been a thing or if it's just this specific vehicle. That's somebody wanting to jump off the bus. Oh my gosh, look at the um, lovely pavement structure here. Well, that's different. I believe, I can't remember if there's another bus stop here, but I believe very soon I've got to get over into the far lane. So I know there's been a, a few sort of interesting comments on some of the pages, just a few minor reminders um, about how we work here that sort of, oh my gosh, oh am I in the wrong lane? No I'm not, just that van decided to pull across and just not say oh, so, to you. Um, there's a few kind reminders um, that on the channel um, I drive this because it's a, it's fun and I do it to I do it for the level of enjoyment. So when people start doing levels of criticising of driving and etc etc, just remember that I do this for fun. It's not some sort of serious multi-millionaire YouTube channel. Um, where everything has to be perfect, um, so just remember that. Also, when it comes to my maps as well, if I, if and when I say they were work in progress and not released, that does usually mean they're not released. Um, I've had a few interesting comments recently uh, in regards to how far from home buses, again, um, asking for releases, etc, etc. Now, you've got to remember that I'm only one person. Um, who lives one life and one very busy life to say that so doing the actual YouTube itself is a very 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 small part of the big life and all of the other levels of responsibilities I have to I have to do um, so that must be remembered uh, when you're asking when you're asking for sort of support and help because your best bet for split for things like that is the community um, what must all, again? What must also be pointed out? Oh my gosh! I'm in that. I'm in that car. Whoops! That's because I can't multitask. There we go. Oh, I've opened. Oh, I've opened all the doors. Okay. Whoops. There we go. Um. I must also remember that when I've done the maps in the past, there is pro there is now a reason why I sort of don't release them. Um, and that's through an in, uh, quite an interesting recent stroke of people deciding that although I made the map in my spare time and it, I made it quite a number of years ago that those who don't make maps feel the need to slay to them um, so I mean personally I, it, don't, it, it don't bother me as such because it saves me a job of having to release them um, so what you got to thank is, is, is a few, few comments around the Omsi forums now, um, all over that you may find about that. You may find some from certain individuals doing it over and over again. Um, but they're the ones that you do have to thank for my maps not being released. Because um, I, I made that I made that decision a bit ago, but just to reiterate that decision that I don't think I'll, I'll be releasing my maps again. Um, thanks to those few individual comments uh, from people who have never ever ever built a map, probably never will. Um, but feel the need to slitter those who go and make projects and work for other people. So, they're the people you've got to thank. Oh, I need to be in this lane, don't I? So, apologies for that rather negative note. Um, I don't, I don't like having, an, having negative notes like that. I didn't need to be in that lane. I don't like having negative notes like that, however, sometimes the need just as a level of reminder for everyone. 
Um, so I'm, I'm still be doing my recordings, I'll still be doing my maps and everything because now we are back, back properly in business. However, um, when it comes to map releases, I, I just don't do it anymore. Um, just do not bother. Let other, let other people do it um, and let them crack on. Let them crack on with the maps and I can keep building mine up, but they'll only be for private use only now. Um, you never know, I may change my mind, but we'll just have to see what happens. But hopefully, my next, as I said, the next video should hopefully be me driving the MMC as it's something I haven't done as of yet um, on, on a recording obviously I've driven it many many times in my own time I'm going to drive the 200 MMC um, probably on the humble buses as I say either on the Asda shuttle or something a bit more extensive so we'll just see but I'm going to try and get a few more Hong Kong maps downloaded as I want to really really equal out um, all the different maps that I've got Preferably. So we can sort of roughly, well, half and half it now. So half the videos are on the left paths and half the videos are on the right path maps. And um, just make sure everybody's happy and everybody's sorted. Because um, as I say, I do like driving maps like this, but then it's also nice to drive maps from other countries as well. Um, it's like there's the new uh, recently released Renault um, Intercity single decker vehicle. As you can probably tell, I'm not really good with the names of them all. Um, when, they, when, they, when they're overseas vehicles, I'm not sort of top notch on the different names and makes. Um, what do we need to be in the side of that little station? Let's have the other way around. Um, but I'm hoping to drive that on a map. I'm trying to see if I can get a, a like a new sort of map, just to add a little bit of variety. If that makes sense. All oh, the things shown up, the timetable ending shown up before we even reach the terminus. Now that's a lighting, but I can't see any main terminal sort of points. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to. Just drive it up here. Oops, my door. Oh, that's why I accidentally opened my doors. Yeah, that's something I need to edit for next time. Maybe. Um. So anyway, I do hope you've enjoyed this video. This is an this is an absolutely superb vehicle. Um, I will try and leave the um, link of the vehicle in the description. Um, if I don't, then it, just type in the name of the vehicle into um, Google and it should come up anyway. So thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. If you do have a question, suggestion or what have, uh, um, please don't hesitate to comment. Um, um, yeah. <laughs> So, I do hope you've enjoyed this. I will be back hopefully weekly, as I say, with new videos. Um, probably even twice weekly, depending on how everything goes. But that's just the variety of life, the little bit of elements of surprise. Um, so, thanks again for watching, and I do hope to see you in the next video I make. But goodbye for now. Bye.